And welcome to our online viewers around the world watching this meet and greet with Albania and Hersi. Welcome and uh, I guess congratulations with your first, uh, with the first performance or your first rehearsal. How did it go? Thank you. Uh, I, was, uh, I thought I would be nervous, of course, but uh, I can say I feel very comfortable in the stage and I'm very, very happy to be here with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. And also welcome to Denmark, of course. Thank you. And now you've seen the stage, and I guess everyone has been talking about this big stage. How do you yeah. feel walking, standing and performing on the stage? <laughs> it was magic, I can say. Um, I, uh, I, I feel the magic without uh, public, you know? I don't know how I will feel with the, the persons there. Yeah. So you're glad that th there weren't any, um, I guess, a any uh, people in, 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 the, in the big uh, arena? Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, are you I'm looking forward to the people coming in? Yes, or you, yeah, of okay, course. Cool. <laughs> yes, of course, because we give energy and we take energy. That's from nice. Them, of course. Before turning to um, the journalist in this room, uh, let me just take a question from our Twitter users. Uh, at hashtag ask Eurovision. You're welcome to ask any questions to all our participants. This is from Nita Roosevelt. She asks, why are you singing in English, and could you sing classic mu music? I guess she knows that you have a classical background. <laughs> yes. Nita? Nita. Because? Nita, we decided English because we wanted to share the emotion of my song with the other, uh, with all the, the persons that didn't speak Albanian, with you too. <laughs> and could you sing in classic music, or, or <laughs> are you just, could you just course, stop? Of course, of course. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you do it now? Yeah. Per guarir di tal pazia che pazza la mor costante di seguir l'usanza mia ogni di cambiar d'amante. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Very beautiful. So I guess the obvious question is, what do you like most to sing this uh, strong ballad, I guess you have, or this rock song, or, or, the, or classic music? Uh, in me, these two passions grow up in the same time. I, uh, I always study opera and sing uh, pop music too. So uh, I think I will do something in the middle yeah. because uh, the, I love to, them both. Yeah. I can't decide now. I I am... I, um, I have these dreams, and I don't know where will where will I go with them. <laughs> so I will see. <laughs> Good answer. Let's see if anyone in the in, in the room has any questions for Hersi from Albania. Hi, hi, Hersi. Al Alistair Birch from uh, SBS Radio in Australia. I understand your studies took you from Tirana to Rome. How would you compare those two cities? How are these the similar, and how are they different? Ah, similar. Similar because I feel uh, home in Rome too now. <laughs> but uh, different because we speak uh, Albanian and in Rome <laughs> I speak Italian. <laughs> and um, uh, what can I say? Uh, I live uh, 19 years of my life in Albania. Then I, I moved to Rome. Uh, the difference different cultures, different people, different language. But I'm used to now. I don't think I... Uh, I... I... Apartengo. Uh, belong. I belong uh, to one nation now. And um, I think I'm in the, in the right place because your vision is like uh, changing cultures, inter uh, exchange cultures. And uh, I'm very happy for this. But I can say that my beautiful Albania permits me to, to come here. <laughs> and I guess One Night's Anger, your song, yeah. is about anger, what anger can do to a relationship. Is this something you've experienced yourself or is it just fiction? Yes, of course. I'm a very impulsive person. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get angry, very angry. With... <laughs> You've seen the clip, me, the video <laughs> with, <laughs> with Ginti. <laughs> oh, you don't know, oh, you don't know anything about this. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a part of the video that I... Um, yeah, you're walking uh, on a beach and yeah, you're very... Yeah, I was uh, very, very angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so do you have message, a temper? You have um, a temper. Yes, I, th I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, will we be, will be, be uh, will we be watching this on the stage in your performance? Your anger. Uh, in the stage, I will be me, Hersey, with all my emotions, and uh, 
not anger anymore, <laughs> because I was anger for many years. Because um, when you pass from difficulties, because I changed uh, country, it was hard in the beginning to use to the Rome, to, to Rome. It was beautiful, but hard, because I, I grown up in Tirana that is small, and Rome is huge. <laughs> so I had to use to, to the culture, to the language, uh, to the, uh, the thing they, uh, they, th they thought, mm. they, their way to live. So uh, many times I was angry, but I have this uh, bad, uh, thing that I take my anger inside many times, but it hurts me really much. Uh, sometimes we have to take it out and transform it in positivity. Mm. So when Genti, uh, the, the composer of the song, uh, uh, told me uh, about the, the, the lyrics, uh, the, the One Night Singer, I agree totally because uh, I, I, I found that anger in, inside me. We have a question over there. Hi, I'm Simon from Poland, published Hello. Radio Newsletter. Uh, it's a question because actually Albanian pre-selection process looks like the festival and you prepare songs which exceed for three minutes. And is, it makes a problem for uh, authors, composers to prepare the song for the national final. What do you think about first, about your festival or about the Eurovision Song Contest as the main prize, the main, actually, mm -hmm. uh, victory for the winner of the festival? Look, uh, I think Genti has to... <laughs> <laughs> you can take this one if you want to. Okay. Would you prefer? <laughs> well, Simon, thank you for your question. Let's always very kind of you. Uh, I think the composers there think globally and act locally. So they think about Eurovision, but they act, of course, for the festival, you know. Our festival, it's all live, everything is live, therefore, I think that's uh, the approach that uh, they use. And I'm sure Genti and uh, Hersey had the same approach, and of course they succeeded. Thank you. And, and you are inspired by artists like Mozart, but also Lady Gaga. I've heard. Is that true? Yes, of course. How, yes. how is that possible to, to incorporate uh, both? I think for many years uh, live music in Albania because it's very fashion. You know, it's you work your work in Albania. It's the thing in in clubs and in pubs. And I, um, I some. At the beginning, I refused to sing Lady Gaga. <laughs> I can say, but uh, I was curious about this mad person that makes these things, it's extravagant. And I, I go to YouTube and watch a little bit, and she was a great pianist. <laughs> and then, in that moment, I began to, to open my mind, because we all uh, make mistakes, you know, but... <laughs> and uh, from that moment, I began to, to, to appreciate very much this artist, because it's a great artist. Uh, she plays, sings, and has this uh, characteristic uh, voice. And uh, yeah, mm? I like Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'm proud. You're not the only one, I guess. <laughs> no. And as the gentleman uh, spoke about, you've been participating in many different kinds of music competitions before the Eurovision. So how do you compare the other competitions you've been a part of uh, to, to the Eurovision? What's the big difference? <laughs> <laughs> but I can say that uh, I can't compare them because your vision is huge. It's uh, the biggest comp competition that I, I participated. And uh, I can participate in uh, Festival Congress from a year to another, but I can't compare your vision to another competition because it's another thing. <laughs> but, but how can you feel this? Because I, I guess you, you, just, uh, you, you, you had to stand there and, and sing yeah. either way. So, so yes, how can you but um, your vision is... Oh, this is great. It's, uh, uh, I, uh, like I said, I thought I would be very nervous, but I, I feel so comfortable. I feel home here, really. And I have to thank all the team, all the crew, all the persons that works on it, really. I'm impressed and I'm very emotional from this. Uh, and um, Festival Congress, it's uh, another thing, because it's live, the orchestra. So um, you have to worry about uh, a few things, you, orchestra, live, the backing vocals, it's, it's another thing. But anyway, it's small, because it's uh, just a national, not international. 
Eurovision, uh, my, in my first rehearsal, I can say that uh, uh, the other singers told me about the magic, but you have to leave it and I'm leaving it. <laughs> How, how fond you are of, of, of the first uh, rehearsal. Are you going to change anything before the second rehearsal? Uh, I don't think I want to change something. Maybe um, uh, I, I will wear my dress, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my performer dress. And uh, of course, uh, when the people will be on the, 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 sta on the, the, the stage, audience, in yeah. the audience, of course I will be very... Emotion, nervous, maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so you're not going to change anything about your but performance? No, but no, 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 it was everything great. Yeah. They took care of it. Any last question? Yeah, gentleman over there. Hi, hi, Hersey, Alastair again. Can you tell, me, tell us a little bit about your song? Um, how was it written, written and how did you feel the first time you heard the song? Uh, well, the first time, <laughs> uh, the first time I heard the song, I cried. <laughs> Sometimes I can't uh, take uh, inside my emotions. So, and this period, uh, I'm maybe uh, I'm living a dream. So I'm very uh, a precure, touched from everything. I'm very fragile, fragile, fragile. <laughs> So uh, the first time I heard One Night Singer or Zemri Mignonate was uh, without words and uh, just with the piano. So uh, the music touched me very much and I cried. He can say that. <laughs> and One Night Singer, it's uh, like my composer told, it's uh, written for him and for me too. So, uh, in this song, we had uh, yeah, the same temperament. We have the same temperament. And I can say that in this song, um, uh, we express ourselves, he and me. We live, <laughs> we live with the song. You have to tell something, <laughs> not just me. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, that, uh, would you have a last, last word? Uh, yeah. I, I trust Hersey. I, I believe in Hersey. And uh, I think uh, that my song is happy in her mouth. <laughs> thank you so much. Hersey, it was a pleasure meeting you. I wish you good luck and you uh, look much. forward to meeting you again thank after you the second much. rehearsal. Thank you. And also thank you to our online viewers for watching. And remember, you can ask all our contestants any questions you would like to. Just hashtag Ask Eurovision, and we'll use them here on the meet and greet. Thanks. <laughs>